Marion Cotillard, born the 30th of September 1975, is a French actress, singer-songwriter, environmentalist and spokesperson for Greenpeace. She has received worldwide acclaim and awards for her performances in films such as A Very Long Engagement, 2004, La Vie en Rose, 2007, 9, 2009, Inception, 2010, Midnight in Paris, 2011, Rust and Bone, 2012, The Immigrant, 2013, and Two Days, One Night, 2014. In 2015, she starred as Lady Macbeth in Justin Kurzel's Macbeth, a new film adaptation of Shakespeare's play. She is also known for being the face of Lady Dior handbags since 2008. In 2007, Cotillard starred as French singer Edith Piaf in La Vie en Rose, for which she received critical acclaim and won several awards, including the Academy Award, BAFTA Award, Caesar Award, and the Golden Globe Award for Best Actress. She is the first and, as of 2016, only actor to win an Academy Award for a performance in the French language. In 2010, she received a Golden Globe and a Critics' Choice Award nomination for her performance in the musical film Nine. In 2012, she received critical acclaim for her performance as an amputee orca trainer in Rust and Bone and received nominations for the Golden Globe Award, BAFTA Award, Critics' Choice Award, Screen Actors Guild Award and the Caesar Award. She received rave reviews and several awards in 2014 for her lead performances in The Immigrant and Two Days, One Night, scoring her second Academy Award nomination for Best Actress for the latter, which was also her second nomination for a French-language film and also the first time an actor was nominated for a Belgian film. Cotillard's other notable films include Chloe, 1996, Furia, 1999, Lisa, 2001, Pretty Things, 2001, Big Fish, 2003, Toy at Moy, 2006, Dick and Egg, 2006, A Good Year, 2006, Public Enemies, 2009, Contagion, 2011, The Dark Knight Rises, 2012, and The Little Prince, 2015. In 2014, Cotillard was named the most bankable French actress of the 21st century, her films accumulating more than 37 million ticket sales in France from 2001 to 2014. Early life, Cotillard was born in Paris, and grew up around Orléans, in an artistically inclined, bustling, creative household. Her father, Jean-Claude Cotillard, is an actor, teacher, former mime, and 2006 mold Air Award-winning director. He is of Breton descent. Cotillard's mother, Nizima Thylod, is also an actress and drama teacher. Her two younger brothers are twins, Quentin and Guillaume. Guillaume is a screenwriter and director. Cotillard began acting during her childhood, appearing on stage in one of her father's plays. Career. Early work in French cinema, 1993 to 2002. After small appearances and performances in theater, Cotillard had occasional, minor roles in television series such as Highlander, where she had her first English-speaking role at age 17, appearing as Laurie Bellion in the episode Nowhere to Run. She also had an uncredited role in the episode Saving Grace, in which she appeared giving birth in one scene. But her career as a film actress began in the mid-1990s with small but noticeable roles in films like El, Histoire du Garçon qui voulait qu'on l'embrasse, Arnaud Desplecken's My Sex Life, or How I Got Into an Argument and the comedy La Belle Verte directed by Colleen Serrault. In 1996, Cotillard had her first leading role in the TV film Chloe, playing the title role, a teenage runaway who is forced into prostitution, co-starring Anna Karina. In 1998, she appeared in Jayard Pyre's action comedy Taxi, playing Lily Bertino, girlfriend of delivery boy Daniel. The film was a hit in France and she was nominated for a Caesar Award for Most Promising Actress. Cotillard reprised the role in two sequels, Taxi 2 and Taxi 3. She then ventured into science fiction with Alexander Age's post-apocalyptic romantic drama, Furia in 1999. That year Cotillard starred in the Swiss war drama War in the Highlands, La Guerre dans le Hot Pays, for which she won the Best Actress Award at Autrance Film Festival in 1999. In 2001, she appeared in Pierre Grimblatt's film Lisa, playing the title role and younger version of Jean Moreau's character, co-starring with Benoit Magimel and Sagamore Stevening. In the same year, she starred in Gillis Pocket Brenner's film Pretty Things, Les Jolies Choses, adapted from the work of feminist writer Virginie Despence. In the drama, Cotillard portrayed twins of completely opposite characters, Lucy and Marie, and she was nominated for a Caesar Award for Most Promising Actress for her performance. In 2002, she appeared in Guillaume Nicolau's thriller A Private Affair, Une Affaire Privé, where she portrayed the 
the mysterious Claris, moved to Hollywood, 2003 to 2006. In 2003, Cotillard had a notable supporting role in Tim Burton's film Big Fish, where she appeared alongside Helena Bonham Carter, Albert Finney, Ewan McGregor, Billy Crudup, Jessica Lange and Alison Lohman. In the film she plays Jose Fine, the French wife of William Bloom. In the same year, she starred in the romantic comedy film Love Me If You Dare, Judy Enfants, as Sophie Kowalski, the daughter of Polish immigrants. The film was directed by Jan Samuel and was a box office hit in France. In 2004, she won the Chopper Trophy of Female Revelation at the Cannes Film Festival. She also appeared in two critically acclaimed films, Jean-Pierre Junet's A Very Long Engagement, Un Long Dimanche de Fiancales, as the vengeful Tina Lombardi, for which she won a Caesar Award for Best Supporting Actress, and the mystery thriller Innocence as Mademoiselle Eva. In 2005, Cotillard starred in six films, Steve Suisse's romantic drama Cavalcade as Alizé, Abel Ferrer's religious drama Mary, alongside Forrest Whitaker and Juliette Binoz, portrayed Isabel Kruger and Alice in the thriller film The Black Box, La Boite Noire, directed by Richard Berry, starred in the romantic comedy Love is in the Air, Ma Vienne Lair, in the drama Burnt Out, South Le Respect Q Je Voudois, and Eddie, directed by Stéphane Guering Tillier. In 2006, the actress starred in four films, including Ridley Scott's romantic comedy A Good Year, in which she portrayed Fanny Chanel, a French cafe owner in a small Provençal town, opposite Russell Crowe as a Londoner who inherits a local property, the Belgian comedy Dick Eck alongside Milani Laurent, appeared in Fair Play as Nicole and in the satirical coming-of-age film Toy et Moi, for which she learned to play the cello for her role, La Vienne Rose and Breakthrough, 2007-2008. Cotillard was chosen by director Olivier Dayan to portray the French singer Edith Piaf in the biopic La Vienne Rose before he had even met her, saying that he noticed a similarity between Piaf's and Cotillard's eyes. Producer Alain Goldman accepted and defended the choice even though distributors TFM reduced the money they gave to finance the film thinking Cotillard wasn't bankable enough an actress. Her portrayal was widely praised, including by the eminent theater director Sir Trevor Nunn, who described it as one of the greatest performances on film ever. At the Berlin International Film Festival, where the film premiered, Cotillard was given a 15-minute standing ovation. It was dubbed the most awaited film of 2007 in France, where some critics said that she had reincarnated Edith P. off to sing one last time on stage. She is the first actress to win a Golden Globe for a foreign language performance since 1972, when Liv Ullman won for The Emigrants. She is also the first person to win a, comedy or musical, Golden Globe for a foreign language performance. On 10 February 2008, Cotillard became the first French actress to be awarded the BAFTA Award for Best Actress in a Leading Role since Stéphane Audrin in 1973. On 22 February 2008, she was awarded the Caesar Award for Best Actress for her performance in La Vie en Rose. Alain Delon presented the award and announced the winner as La Môme Marion, the Kid Marion, also praising her on stage saying, Marion, I give you this Caesar. I think this Caesar is for a great, great actress, and I know what I'm talking about. Two days later, on 24 February 2008, at the Academy Awards, she won Best Actress, becoming the first woman and second person, after Adrian Brody, the pianist, to win both a Caesar and an Oscar for the same performance. Cotillard is the second French cinema actress to win this award and the third overall to receive an Academy Award after Simone Signoret in 1960 and Juliette Binoche in 1997. She is the first Best Actress winner in a non-English language performance since Sophia Loren's win in 1961. She is also the first and, as of 2015, only winner of an Academy Award for a performance in the French language. In her Oscar acceptance speech, Cotillard proclaimed thank you life, thank you love and, speaking of Los Angeles, said it is true, there is some angels, sick, in this city. The day following the ceremony, Cotillard was congratulated and praised by the President of France, Nicolas Sarkozy, in a statement saying, I would like to extend my warmest congratulations to Marion Cotillard, who has just received the Oscar for Best Actress for her masterful interpretation of Edith Piaf in La Vie en Rose, directed by Olivier Dayan. Half a century after Simone Signoret, a French artist has received the Best Actress Award at the Oscars. It was a good omen that Catherine Allegri, Simone Signoret's daughter, herself had a role in La Vie en Rose. Marion Cotillard embodies an Edith Piaf who is unsettling in her realism, emotion and passion. Her interpretation brings to life the story of a woman who gave French chance on its acclaim and authenticity, a singer, too, who closely united France and America. La Vie en Rose was partly a Czech production, as Cotillard mentioned in her season acceptance speech. On 1 March 2008, 
Cotillard won a Czech Lion Award for Best Actress. She could not attend the ceremony in Prague due to the filming of Public Enemies. Her friend Pavlina Nemkova, who played the journalist in La Vie en Rose, was there to accept the award on her behalf. On the 24th of June 2008, Cotillard was one of 105 individuals invited to join the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. Widespread recognition, 2009 to 2012. Cotillard starred alongside Johnny Depp and Christian Bale in Public Enemies, which was released in the United States on 1 July 2009. Later that year, Cotillard appeared in the film adaptation of the musical Nine, directed by Rob Marshall, playing Luisa Contini, the wife of Guido, played by Daniel Day-Lewis. On 15 December 2009, Cotillard was nominated for a Golden Globe for Best Actress in a Motion Picture, Musical or Comedy for her performance in the film. Cotillard appeared on the cover of the November 2009 issue of Vogue with her nine co-stars, and on the July 2010 cover by herself. For her role as Luisa Contini in Nine, Time magazine ranked her as the fifth best performance by a female in 2009, behind Monique, Carrie Mulligan, Saoirse Ronan and Meryl Streep. Cotillard was awarded the Desert Palm Achievement Actress Award at the 2010 Palm Springs International Film Festival for her performance, her second prize from the festival. On February 27, 2010, she was the honorary president of the 35th Caesar Awards Ceremony. On 15 March 2010, Cotillard was made a Chevalier Knight of the Ordre des Arts et des Lettres Order of the Arts and Letters by the French government for her contribution to the enrichment of French culture. She appeared as Mal Cobb in Christopher Nolan's film Inception, alongside Leonardo DiCaprio and Joseph Gordon-Levitt, which released on 16 July 2010. Cotillard and Leonardo DiCaprio ranked 8 on the list Hollywood's top earning on-screen couples by Forbes for Inception, which made $825 million at the worldwide box office. They are the only couple for from a non-franchise film. In the same year, she also starred in Guillaume Canet's drama Little White Lies, Les Petites Mouchoirs, playing the environmentalist Marie, alongside Jean Dujardin and Francois Cluzet. In 2011, she appeared in Woody Allen's Midnight in Paris alongside Rachel McAdams and Owen Wilson, as Adriana, a fictionalized mistress of Pablo Picasso, co-starred alongside Kate Winslet, Jude Law, Gwyneth Paltrow and Matt Damon in Steven Soderbergh's thriller film Contagion. Also that year, Cotillard appeared on the top of Le Figaro's list of the highest paid actors in France in 2010, the first time in nine years that a female has topped the list. She she has also tied with Kate Winslet as the highest paid foreign actress in Hollywood. In 2012, she was ranked 9 on the list of the highest paid actresses in France. In 2012, Cotillard appeared in Christopher Nolan's film The Dark Knight Rises, playing Miranda Tate, a board member at Wayne Enterprises. The film reunited her with her Inception co-stars Joseph Gordon-Levitt, Michael Caine, Cillian Murphy and Tom Hardy. It also reunited her with Public Enemies co-star Christian Bale. She next starred in Jacques Audiard's Rust and Bone, The Ruil et Das, alongside Matthias Schoenertz, for which she received rave reviews for her performance as the Orca trainer Stefani and won the Globe de Crystal Award, Eight Waldor Award, San Jordi Award, Irish Film and Television Award and the Hawaii International Film Fest Festival Award for Best Actress and received a fifth Caesar Award nomination, a fourth Screen Actors Guild Award nomination, a third Golden Globe nomination, her first nomination for Best Actress, Drama, a second Critics' Choice Award nomination and a second Lumieres Award nomination. The film premiered at the 2012 Cannes Film Festival and received a 10-minute standing ovation at the end of its screening. Kate Blanchett wrote an op-ed for Variety praising Cotillard's performance in Rust and Bone, describing it as simply astonishing and said that Marion has created a character of nobility and candor, seamlessly melding herself into a world we could not have known without her. Her performance is as unexpected and as unsentimental and raw as the film itself. She also received several honors and career tributes at Telluride Film Festival, Hollywood Film Festival, AFI Fest, Gotham Awards and Harper's Bazaar Awards. 2013 Present In 2013, Cotillard was named Hasty Pudding The Trickles Woman of the Year by Harvard students. She was also ranked the second highest paid actress in France in 2012. On May 2013, she appeared in the controversial music video The Next Day by David Bowie, alongside Gary Oldman, her co-star in The Dark Knight Rises. She had her first leading role in an American movie in James Gray's The Immigrant, starring as the Polish immigrant Eva Cybulska, opposite Joaquin Phoenix. For her performance in the film, Cotillard was widely acclaimed at the 2013 Cannes Film 
Festival in May, 2013 and was nominated for an Spirit Award for Best Actress in 2015. The Immigrant was released in U.S. in May 2014, exactly one year after its Cannes premiere, and was highly praised by American critics, especially Cotillard's performance. She then co-starred in Guillaume Canet's Blood Ties, alongside Clive Owen, Billy Crudup and again Matthias Schoenertz, the film premiering at Cannes in the same week that The Immigrant premiered. Cotillard also had a cameo in Anchorman 2, The Legend Continues, acting opposite Jim Carrey as a Canadian anchor. From November to December 2013, she was a member of the jury of the 13th Marrakech Film Festival that was presided by Martin Scorsese. Cotillard was named the most beautiful face of 2013 by the Independent Critics List, and was ranked 13 on Empire Online's list of the 100 sexiest movie stars in 2013. In 2014, she starred in Dardenne Brothers' Two Days, One Night, in the film. Cotillard plays Sandra, a Belgian factory worker who has just one weekend to convince her workmates to give up their bonuses so that she can keep her job. The film premiered at the 2014 Cannes Film Festival and Cotillard's performance was unanimously praised by critics, earned a 15-minute standing ovation and was named the best performance of the festival. For her performance in the film, Cotillard received several critics' awards and was nominated for a second Academy Award for Best Actress and for a sixth Caesar Award for Best Actress. In 2015, Cotillard played Lady Macbeth in a new film adaptation of Shakespeare's play Macbeth directed by Justin Kurzel, opposite Michael Fassbender in the title role. The film premiered at the 2015 Cannes Film Festival and Cotillard was nominated for a BIFA Award for Best Actress for her performance. She voiced the Rose in both the English and the French version in a 3D animated adaptation of The Little Prince, directed by Marc Osborne, was the voice of Scarlet Overkill in the French version of Minions and also voiced April, the lead role in the French-Canadian-Belgian 3D animated film April and the Extraordinary World, Avril et Le Mont Truquet, directed by Franck Ekensi and Christian Demers. On 13 February 2015, it was announced that Cotillard had been cast alongside Michael Fassbender in the upcoming Assassin's Creed adaptation movie that is due for release on 21 December 2016. Her next projects are the lead role in Nicole Garcia's Mal de Pierre's, an adaptation of the best-selling novel Mal de Petri, From the Land of the Moon in U.S. and The House in Via Mano in Australia, by Elena Agus, set to be released in 2016. She will star in Javier Dolan's It's Only the End of the World, Just La Fan du Monde, set to be released in 2016. On the 22nd of January 2014, it was announced that Cotillard would star in the New York Philharmonic's production of Arthur Honegger's Oratorio Joan of Arc at the Stake. Cotillard had previously starred in a production of the 1938 Dramatic Oratorio by the Orleans Orchestra in 2005 and the Barcelona Symphony Orchestra in 2012. The new production staged by the director Come de Belle Essays, was first created for Japan's Saitokin and Festival Matsumoto in 2012, and featured members of the Comédie Française. It hit the stage of the Avery Fisher Hall in June 2015. Cotillard also performed the Oratorio in Paris in March 2015. It was announced on June 8, 2015 that she will star alongside Brad Pitt in a spy film directed by Robert Zemeckis. Cotillard's films have grossed more than $3 billion at the worldwide box office. Musical career. Cotillard sings, plays guitar, bass guitar, keyboard and tambourine. She co-wrote and performed the song La Fille de Joie for her film Pretty Things, Les Jolies Choses, in which she played a singer and also performed the song Le Con for this film. In 2008, she co-wrote and performed the song The Strong Ones alongside Hoxley Workman for Olivier Dahan's short film for Cartier's Love Range. In 2010, she recorded a song called Happy Crowd with the French band Yodelice and sang few songs on their album Cardioid. She also went on tour with the band in different cities in France and Belgium under the pseudonym Simone, which is her grandmother's name. Cotillard appears in the video More Than Meets the Eyes from Yodelice, 2010. She also recorded the song The Eyes of Mars alongside Franz Ferdinand especially for Dior. Canadian singer Hoxley Workman said in interviews about his album Between the Beautifuls that he worked and wrote songs with Cotillard while they both were in Los Angeles during the movie awards season. In 2012, she wrote and performed the song Lily's Body for the fourth episode of the Lady Dior web documentary with the same title. In 2014, 14. Cotillard wrote and performed the song Snapshot in L.A. alongside John Cameron Mitchell, Metronomy's Joseph Mount and Villain. The song latter earned a music video that was written and co-directed by Cotillard herself especially for Lady Dior's campaign Enter the Game, Dior Coups 2015, Lady Dior Advertising Campaign. In 2008, Cotillard was chosen as the face of Dior's Lady Dior Advertising Campaign and was featured in an online mini-movie directed by John Cameron Mitchell about the fictional character created by John Galliano. She also 
also starred in a series of short films that were situated in different cities to promote the Lady Dior handbags, Lady Nora Fair, in Paris, directed by Olivier Dayan, Lady Blue Shanghai directed by David Lynch, Lady Rouge, in New York, directed by Yona Zakerland and Lady Grey London directed by John Cameron Mitchell and starring Ian McKellen and Russell Tovey. This campaign has also resulted in a musical collaboration with Scottish rock band Franz Ferdinand, where Cotillard has provided the vocals for a composition performed by the group, entitled The Eyes of Mars. In 2012, she starred in the web series Lady Dior Web Documentary and wrote and performed the song Lily's Body for one episode. She also designed her own handbag for Dior, the 360 Degrees Bag. Cotillard also appeared on the cover of the first issue of Dior magazine in September 2012. In 2014, she wrote and co-directed alongside Elliot Bliss, a music video for her song Snapshot in LA, especially for Lady Dior's campaign Enter the Game, Dior Coups 2015, Greenpeace and other projects. In addition to her film work, Cotillard is interested in environmental activism, and has participated in campaigns for environmental protection, in particular Greenpeace, for whom she has acted as a spokesperson since 2002. In 2005, she contributed to Descent's Pour le Climate, Drawings for the Climate, a book of drawings published by Greenpeace to raise funds for the group, and in 2010, she traveled to Congo with Greenpeace to visit tropical rainforests threatened by logging companies. It was shown in the documentary The Congolese Rainforests, Living on Borrowed Time. In 2013, she caged herself near Paris's Louvre Museum to demand the freeing of 30 Greenpeace activists jailed in Russia over an Arctic protest. She entered the cage and held a banner proclaiming I am a climate defender. In 2009, Cotillard was one of many celebrities to record a cover version of the song Beds Are Burning by Midnight Oil, in support of TCKTCKTCK TCK and climate justice. She designed her own doll for UNICEF France campaign Les Frimousses Fondler Cinema, that was sold to help vaccinate thousands of children in Durfur. She is the patron of Maud Fontenoy Foundation, a non-governmental organization which is dedicated to teaching children about preserving the oceans. She is also the ambassador of Association Wayanga, a French association that supports and indigenous peoples for their rights and the preservation of their cultures and the Amazon forest they inhabit. In 2011, she publicly supported Chief Roni in his fight against the Belo Monte Dam in Brazil and signed his petition. In 2012, she was featured on Kate Winslet's book The Golden Hat, Talking Back to Autism, with celebrity self-portraits to raise awareness and support for autism launched by Winslet's Golden Hat Foundation. In February 2014, she signed the Tiger Manifesto, a campaign calling for an end to everyday products being manufactured manufactured through forest destruction. Launched by Greenpeace, the campaign is encouraging consumers to demand products are forest and tiger friendly, particularly in Indonesia, where the Sumatran tiger is on brink of extinction. On 21 May 2014, Greenpeace released the animated video The Amazon's Silent Crisis, narrated by Cotillard. The video highlights the troubling illegal logging that threatens the Brazilian Amazon. On 26 February 2015, she went to Philippines along France's President François Hollande and actress Melanie Laurent, to participate on a forum and encourage faster and more determined action on the global challenge of climate change, was the ambassador of One Heart One Tree, an art project that fights climate change through its plant for the planet reforestation program. On the 29th of November 2015, the Eiffel Tower became a virtual forest with trees and words encouraging environmental activism projected onto it every evening. Cotillard and UN Secretary General Ban Ki Moon inaugurated the light installation on the eve of the official opening of the COP21 conference. She also donated her shoes to be displayed among an installation of over 10,000 shoes at the Place de la République in Paris. The installation replaced a giant march for climate change which was forbidden by French authorities following the deadly attacks in the capital on November 13, which cost 130 lives. It was a way of showing the determination of protesters in their fight against climate change, and allowed them to still send a strong message on the eve of the UN Climate Conference, COP21. Personal life. In the late 90s, Cotillard was in a relationship with French actor Julien Rassam. From 2000 to 2005, she was in a relationship with French actor Stéphane Guering Tillier. She dated French singer Sinclair from 2005 to 2007. Since October 2007, Cotillard has been in a relationship with French actor and director Guillaume Canet. The birth of the couple's son, Marcel, was announced on 19 May 2011. In 2014, she denied being married to Guillaume Canet. Filmography. Films. Clips. 1990. 
Clip Petite Fee, Les Wampus, 2004, Clip Given Up, Richard Archer and Tommy Hools, 2004, Clip No Reason to Cry Out Your Eyes, Hoxley Workman, 2009, Clip Beds Are Burning, TCKTCKTCK, Time for Climate Justice, 2010, Clip More Than Meets the Eyes, Yodelice, 2010, Clip Breathe In, Yodelice, 2010, Clip Take It All, 9, 2010, Clip The Eyes of Mars, Franz Ferdinand, 2012, Clip Lily's Body, Lady Dior Web Documentary, 2013, Clip The Next Day, David Bowie, 2014, Clip Snapshot in LA, Lady Dior, Enter the Game, Voice Work, she has dubbed several films in France, like Happy Feet, she also dubbed in French all of her roles in English-speaking films, 2003, Big Fish, 2005, Mary, 2006, Happy Feet, 2006, A Good Year, 2009, Public Enemies, 2009, 9, 2010, Inception, 2011, Midnight in Paris, 2011, Contagion, 2012, The Dark Knight Rises, 2013, The Immigrant, 2013, Blood Tease, 2015, The Little Prince, 2015, Minions as Scarlet Overkill, Theater, Awards and Nominations, 